No. Okay. Just cut the clip. Cut to the jump in. Hey guys, what's up? It's Shalise. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, hello, I am Shalise and this is my YouTube channel. Um, I start every video like that, so just go ahead and click the subscribe button so I don't keep having to tell you to subscribe. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And yeah, today we are going to be filming, well not you guys, but I am going to be filming a first impressions video, full face first impressions. The only thing that's not a first impressions is my, uh, my primer and my eye primer. And I think that's it. That should be the only thing. And a bronzer because I forgot to get a bronzer for this video for some reason. I don't know how I did that, but yeah, I forgot a bronzer. I'm sorry. Don't kill me. Everything else though is going to be full face. I even have new brushes to try, so yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that's all for the intro. Don't forget to subscribe and let's just go ahead and jump right into the video. So I zoomed you guys into my face. I'm going to be going for a really simple eye look today. I'm first going to prime with the NYX Proof It Hydro Waterproof Eyeshadow Primer. Um, I don't know if they still sell this because I didn't see it in stores, but this is what I use when I want my um, eyes to be set for the day, basically. You know? And I don't really put a lot. I put a pretty good amount, but not like a lot, a lot, you know? I don't leave a lot, a lot. Uh, I'm going to be going in with two palettes today. This is the Nudes Maybelline by Maybelline palette. I'll open that so you guys can see a little better. That's what that one looks like. It's really pretty, just again, a bunch of nudes, as the palette name says. And the Real Her Shadow Palette. I have swatched both of these, but I have not used them on my eyelids yet. So that's what that one looks like. This is just basically all shimmers. This is the Real Her Sh First Edition Shadow Palette. Be your own kind of beautiful, which I think is really cool. So going back to the Nudes palette, I'm just going to set my eyelid with this shade right here. Make it work. So I'm just going <clears> to, <throat> okay, voice. set my eyelids with that shade. It's a really pretty shade so far. Pretty standard. It's very matte, as you can see. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and try out one of the new brushes that I have. This is by... Moda Pro. I got it in a pack of three from my BoxyCharm this month. And these, so, like, they're really good quality for, um, BoxyCharm. I'm going to go in with this shade for my crease. There's a little bit of fallout. And this is the BMX 430, uh, crease brush. And just putting that and blowing my crease out, basically. Wow, that's eating indeed. Um, I think these are like cooler tone shadows, which I don't normally go for. My school bell is ringing. I feel like my school bell rings in every video that I make at school. So, if that annoys you, I'm sorry. It annoys me too, but you know. This brush blends it really well in my opinion. And I like the color of this crease. Yeah, I like this. I like that. It's cute. It's cute, okay? It's cute. Um, next, I'm going to be taking another blending brush and going in with the shade from the Real Her palette, and I'm going to be using the shade Strong, which is right here. Just going to be taking that on my outer crease type of deal, type of vibe, just to deepen it up a little bit. That's an interesting color. It looks a little ashy now. It looks a little ashy. I don't know about that shade, guys. I'm not, I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna try to deepen this look up going back into the Nudes palette. I'm gonna be taking this brown shade right here. I was hoping... No, it does look a little ashy in the pan. It does. That's, that might be my fault. Um, but why would you make a shadow ashy, you know? I'm just gonna be taking that and trying to put it on top just to make it a little less ashy. <laughs> Both of the palettes so far are pretty blendable though, so that's good. That's a good thing. Very good. Moving on, I'm going to be taking a flat shader brush and going in to this, the Real Her palette. I'm going to try a different shimmer, a lighter one, and going into the shade 
bun, which is right here. Here. <laughs> I thought about doing a bronze look, but I'm feeling more golden today. Mm. Do I see a lot? It looks like kind of shimmery in the pan, and it's not going on really shimmery on my eye with the brush, so I'm going to wipe the brush real quick. Uh, this is also a new product I'm trying. It's the Mario Bardot, Bardot, Badesco, Badesco. This, it's really popular apparently, and it's a facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. It smells really good, so. It smells really good. It smells just like roses. So I'm going to dip into that again and try that time. Okay, that helped a little bit. Help okay, I think that looks pretty decent. Yeah, I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's the best pigment for like a shimmer shadow, but it'll do. It'll do. So, would I spend my own money on this like for full price? Probably not the real her palette. I did spend my money on the Maybelline palette, which I actually like the shades that I used from that palette and I'm probably going to use one more shade from that palette so then I'm going to take this Morphe M321 brush it's just a little bullet head type of brush and going in with this deep shade at the very edge on the, top, the bottom for you guys top for me and um, put it on my outer V just to deepen up the look which it's pretty dark do you see that that's pretty dark and I, I like it and just blending it in with the shimmer shade and the crease color but not taking it in too far I like that yes come through drugstore come through so, yeah, I really like this eye look so far. Um, for me, I think I would pass on the Real Her palette if it was my own money. And I would definitely get the Nudes palette again because I really like it. I think I'm going to use one of the shimmer shades from my inner corner in a little bit. But we shall see. Okay, now I'm going to move on to eyeliner. I have the L'Oreal Volume Superstar Liquid Liner that I could use. The brush is like this. But I think instead I'm going to use the Essence Super Fine Liner Eyeliner Pen. It's just in black, Casanova. And because it looks, look at this tip. Yes, we need a sharp line today. So I don't really do big wings. I'd never really do big wings, to be completely honest with you. So I'm just going to do like a casual little flick uh, of the wrist. Oh, yeah, that is black. Do you guys see? Honestly, this is so thin, it's great. This, I don't, like I said, I don't really do big wings. I just do a little, little flicky flick. I'm gonna jump off camera real quick and do the other eye and then I will be right back. Moving on to brows, I have the Winky Lux. Um, I think it's a universal brow pencil. It's pretty dark though, which is kind of lucky for me because um, I don't really use this dark of a shade, but I'm sure it'll be fine for me. I don't know how you can make a universal brow product. Like, if you guys can see, that's pretty dark. So, yeah. It has the same shape as the Brow Definer by Anastasia. Anastasia, what are these baby hairs doing? Real quick, and I don't, I don't fill in my eyebrows the right way, okay? I don't. I just fill in the places that I feel like I need to. Uh, so, <laughs> don't judge me, okay? Do not come for me. or anything and I also don't set my brows so come at me bro do it I don't mind it. it is 
pretty dark, honestly. I don't know how it could be a universal brow product, and it's also a little harsh, like, rough going on, but it's a brow product, so, yeah. If you have dark hair, if you have, like, my hair color and above, you should be good with this. If you're blonde or whatever, then stay away from this, because it's pretty dark. Unless you like dark brows, then go for it, but... For my face, I'm going to start off with priming with my my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I really like this primer uh, just to prime my face. You know, I'm just taking a little bit of that. And I feel like using a primer, like not a new primer, gives um, all the products a fair chance to last and to stay all day. Alright, I have two foundations that I could try. I think this one's going to be a little too light with, for me, so I think I'm going to just try this one. I'm going go on with the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth um, and 130 Buff Beige. And I feel like this is also going to be too light for me. I don't know. You know what, let's just, let's just test real quick, okay? I just, I know it's going to be too light. I have a feeling. Just to test, because I got more of a... I got more of a tan than I usually do this summer. Um, let's just test that. It looks a little light. Hopefully it'll oxidize. I usually never want my foundations to oxidize, but hoping that this one will. Um, yeah. Okay. It's a first impressions. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Keep telling yourself it's fine. Boy, this is going to stress me out. I know, it's going to be too light. Let me make sure I freaking blend. Usually I take my um, brush to spread the foundation, but I'm just going to be going in with my beauty blender. It's one of the cute, the whirly ones. And I was supposed to save this for my first impressions, but I couldn't resist. So, sorry about it. I like it, if you, in case you guys were wondering. Okay. This has pretty nice coverage. Um, I'd say it's medium, I would assume. I think it's medium coverage. I don't think it's full coverage because my freckles didn't cover up. Um, I like my freckles, so I don't try to cover them up. Guys, this is so light. When did I get tan? All right, next, I'm really excited to try this. This was like six bucks. It's the Full Cover Perfect Finish Concealer by Fiona Styles, and it's in the shade 05. Look at how this foundation dried on my hand. That is so light. Um, I think this is the lightest shade they have, and I did swatch this already, but it looks like that, and it's probably darker than my foundation, honestly. I would go in with this with a brush, but I feel like just warming it up with my fingers helps a lot. And so that's what I'm going to do. Maybe my concealer will help balance out. This is really creamy, by the way. I'm really excited. I don't really use concealers that are in a pot, so... Okay, we're going to blend that in with the Beauty Blender as well. Oh, okay. I like it. It's really creamy and really easily blendable from what I can tell so far. I'm nervous about the powder I'm going to use, hopefully. <laughs> this can go really wrong. <laughs> there was only $6. Like, what? And the packaging is like glass. It's really, like, heavy. Honestly, I like the concealer. I think if my foundation was the right shade, this concealer would really be popping right now. It's a Revolution Luxury Baking Powder and Banana. It says the natural heat from your body will cook powder over base foundation or concealer, giving you flawless finish um, for adult use only. But okay, we're gonna try this. Um, I already opened it, but it has like a little thing you can sprinkle in here. This is another Moda Pro brush and a pointed blush brush, BMX 130, but I would never use this brush for a blush brush. So I'm just going to use it to set under my eyes. Wow, that's a Here we go. Okay. 
I don't really bake anymore. Is that still like a trend? Because I don't see a lot of people baking anymore. Like some people I see bake still. Wow, that's really yellow. <laughs> Guys. Yellow. It's really yellow. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about this. I'm going to, I guess, continue to test it and let you guys know but so far it just looks really yellow on my face you see how on my face it doesn't really look yellow but under my eyes it does look yellow like mm. so i'm gonna go in with the chocolate soleil Too Faced bronzer again this isn't new so i'm just gonna bronze my face real quick but the brush i'm using is new it's just by crown beauty and it doesn't have a number on it or anything it's just like this so i'm gonna use it If you can hear a dog, it's my roommate's dog, so yeah. Bronzing is done. Now I'm gonna go in with a new blush called Party from Tarte. And this is like the birthday one that you get. I have swatched this and it's so pretty. Um, so I'm gonna put that on my cheeks. Oh yes, ma'am. It just gives a nice, cute, Flush to the cheeks. I let her try. I just I opened it to swatch it, and my whole fingernail. It's hard to open. Watch. Oh yeah. See, that's what happened. And I dug my whole fingernail into it, and then it got everywhere. So this is the Revolution Revolution Makeup Revolution. I really like that highlighter. It looks chalky for sure, and this it might just be because it's baked. But when you put it on, it gives a nice, cute glow. So I don't mind it. You know. Going back to the Nudes palette, I'm going to be doing my under eye with the same shades that I used from it before. Um, just the light shade down here. Person. Oh, that's creasing. Do you see that concealer creasing already? It might be the powder. It might be the concealer. I don't really know. We'll try to fix it. I'm going to take this white shade. It looks like it has kind of like a pinky undertone to it. So I'm going to dab that on a little pointed brush and put it right in my inner corner see if it gives i'm gonna take something really interesting this is the ico london black magic drama and curl mascara this is everything goes with black mascara and it comes in a tube i don't think i've ever tried like a literal a literal tube mascara it says designed for after hours seduction our unique brush creates drama volume and curl combined with an extreme carbon black water resistant finish this is waterproof I guess, which, yeah, because that's going to be interesting to get off. It just, that's an interesting brush. I mean, it, it made them look a little longer, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I got a little longer. The Beauty Crop. It's a matte liquid lipstick in the shade Date Night. It has a really cute packaging i love this packaging it has like a frosted glass it's cruelty free and the rose gold top and it's just like this color so let's go ahead and but i like the formula of this i do like the formula and the color i think it's really pretty i'm gonna add the Tartiest Lip Paint by Tarte. This is also um, in the shade Birthday Suit from the birthday kit that you get for your birthday. And this, the matte lipstick dried down really matte and it's comfortable on my lips and it's not sticky at all to like. This, this scent is really pepperinty. It's like hard to blend the two. This is the Buxom Lip Gloss in Dominique. It's the full-on lip polish. It's like a plumping gloss, and my sister got this for me, so shout out to you, sis. And it's really sparkly, so we're going to change this matte look to a sparkly look. I don't want to get the brush dirty. I hate getting the brush dirty. Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. The last thing that I'm going to do is take the Mario last name uh skincare facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water and set my face mm. wow that 
not set my whole body, but it's that me, okay? That smells so good. It just smells like roses, and I love it. 10 out of 10 recommended. This whole bottle was only $7, and their big bottle was only $12, so. Zah. Why not at all? I think the look looks pretty good. Let me. Um, either the concealer or the powder is making my under eyes crease in the slightest bit. Um, my foundation is probably too light. I can't really tell. It looks like it oxidized a little bit. Maybe that's the bronzer. Um, eyebrows, they just look normal, basically. Mascara when I sprayed, or maybe that was just always there. A uh, little dot. My concealer is the only thing that's really bothering me right now. I think the eyeshadow looks pretty good. I think I recommend everything minus, I don't know if it's the concealer or the powder. I'm going to have to try those two out more separately probably and see which one it was that made my under eyes crease. Um, but other than that, I don't think it looks bad. I, I mean, it's cool tone, so I'm not used to it. Uh, but I do like the overall look and I think it looks pretty decent. For a first time impressions and i hope you guys enjoy this video i hope i will see you guys in the next one if you have any questions or comments leave them down below let me know if you like any of the products that i tried if you have any suggestions for products that i should try leave those in the comments below as well and i will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching see you next time bye